Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about calculating bolus medications. So the first thing we need to do is look at the formula by which we will use all of our bolus medication calculations. When we calculate bolus medications, there's two primary um, formulas that we can use, and they're going to be the one you use is going to be based on the amount of information you have. So the first formula is X equals the total volume times desired dose divided by the total amount of drug. And remember, X is the milliliters that you want to give to your patient. Second, X, again, milliliters to be given to the patient, is equal to the desired dose divided by the concentration. So again, we're going to use whichever formula works best with the information that we have. So let's take a look at a couple examples. In this first example, we're going to give a patient diltiazem. So you need to administer 15 milligrams, and you're given 25 milligrams of diltiazem inside a 5 milliliter vial. So the question asks, how many milliliters will you need to draw up? So for this one, we're going to use the first formula that we have. And again, we're going to be looking at the total volume times the desired dose divided by the total amount of the drug. So when we fill that in, we see that X is equal to 5 milliliters times 15 milligrams over 25 milligrams. And when we convert all those things, we see that we get 75 milliliter milligrams up top and 25 milligrams down below. We cancel out the milligrams. We divide 75 by 25 and we're left with three mLs. In the second problem, we have a patient who needs amiodarone. We're asked to give 300 milligrams of that drug, and we're given a preload that has 450 milligrams inside three mils of fluid. So the question is, how many mils will you draw up, or how many mils would you administer um, to give that 300 milligram dose? So the second formula is going to be better here, since we're given uh, concentration and uh, the desired dose. So we're going to look at X equaling 300 milligrams divided by the concentration, which is 450 milligrams inside 3 mils. When we work this out, we see that 450 milligrams in 3 mils is really the same as 150 milligrams per mil. When we put that inside of our formula, inside of our equation, we get 300 milligrams up top divided by that 150 milligrams per mil. We cancel out our units, we divide 300 by 150, and we're left with 2 milliliters.